to my channel if you guys are new here my name is Hidaya and do subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week for today's video I'll actually be testing out some new products that I recently got um, this is actually some trendy items that I've seen on TikTok that a lot of TikTokers have been using and I'm so intrigued and I jumped into the bandwagon and I decided to buy it. If you guys don't know what Shopee is, I will link down their website below so you can check them out. I literally have bought almost everything from Shopee just because it's really cheap and so convenient because you can find almost everything under one place. And no, this is not sponsored by Shopee but Shopee, if you do want to sponsor me, I'm, I'm welcome, you know? So these are the items I've been seeing all over TikTok. Yes, I am onto that TikTok craze as well, but no, I don't post that much videos. The first product that I bought is actually the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This is the Universal Sheer and this has hydrating squalene, which is really interesting because so far, I've never seen a primer that has like squalene before. Squalene actually helps with your skin and it hydrates your skin. So um, I'm just gonna read a little bit on the ingredients. There is dimethicon, there is glycerin, Camellia sinensis leaf extract, squalene, silica. So um, it does say may contain titanium dioxide and iron oxides. So at the back says this perfecting putty primer smoothes the skin and preps it with squalene to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. The velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. Right, so I'm just gonna open this and since they say it will give you like a poreless effect, I do actually have some pores and right now I have nothing on my face except for moisturizer and sunscreen. So a lot of people a lot of people have been saying that um, this primer is actually a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas uh, Primer and Tatcha is actually a very expensive and high-end brand so the fact that people say this is a dupe and e.l.f. is a super affordable drugstore brand makes me so excited and not everyone can afford Tatcha, you know what I mean? But the thing is, I don't have the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer so I can't really say if they are the same but nevertheless, I just want to try this so this is how it looks like I have a feeling that it's going to be a very smooth primer and at the back is just clear Oh, do you see that? It just glides on smoothly. Oh wow! I have a lot of pores around this area and this area. The other side. Okay, first impression. It feels like a moisturizer, but a sticky moisturizer. But it glides on your skin really smoothly. It smells like glue, but I'm not too bothered by it because it's not overpowering, so I'm fine. Okay, it does take a while to blend and sink into your skin. I can't really tell if it covers my pores but the only way to check this is um, when I put on a base. It feels a little tacky. Not sticky, just a little tacky. I'm gonna put on a little bit more on my forehead. I don't actually use primer that much when I put on makeup unless I have a special event or I'm going out for long hours and I just want my makeup to stick. Yes, it does feel hydrating and it doesn't make me look super matte or super shiny. It's just a nice glow, like a healthy glow. So my first impression on this is that it does its job. It is a little tacky. Uh, it smells a little like glue but I'm not too bothered by it and it doesn't peel on my moisturizer on sunscreen which is great because sometimes when I put on primer on top of my sunscreen it peels and it just gives like those gritty um, thingies on your face and it's just so annoying when it does that so I have to reapply everything again but this does not peel which is a good sign and for the price that I paid which is like $13 this is such a great primer it's super lightweight it doesn't feel heavy and it just gives a very nice glow to my face the next item that I bought from e.l.f. is the hydrating camo concealer this is how it looks like 
and I'm super excited for this product because guess what? People say it's actually a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now, I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, thank God, so I can make um, a comparison for it. This is my Shape Tape Concealer and I have it in the shade 10 Sen 42S which I think it might be a little too dark for me right now because this whole quarantine thing has really made my skin brighter and I, I guess I just have to find another shade for my Tarte Shape Tape but I'm literally so excited for this. Can you believe it? This is actually just, I think it was $11 guys. $11 and this is $42. I can't believe I paid $42 for this, but never mind. Tarte Shape Tape is still one of the best concealers that I've tried, so no complaints. But I'm just really excited to see if this is a dupe. And trust me, if this is a dupe, I think I don't need to buy another shade for this. I think I'm just gonna buy another shade for this one. Um, this is in the shade Medium Golden. I was struggling to actually find my shade because I was just eyeballing things. This is how the shades look like for the both of it. Sorry. Alright, so I think it's quite similar. I think I nailed it. Okay, but guys, look at it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fail. That was a fail. Didn't break, right? Okay, thank god it did not. So by looking at their packaging, they're pretty similar. And they said that they actually have that oversized doe foot. The applicator thing is also the same, just like the Tarte Shape Tape. So can you imagine my excitement it says here camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with this high coverage hydrating and long wearing concealer this is my tart shape tape this this is the elf one they actually have uh, the normal version but i just chose the hydrating one because i like my products to be a little bit more hydrating i think this might be a bit too yellow oh, oh my god i nailed it okay yeah, definitely a little bit more orange, you can tell. This is more brown, like neutral tone, and this is more orangey. Let me just compare the two ones together. I think they're the same. They're exactly the same. I have the primer previously, and I'm just gonna go. Compared to foundation and concealer, I feel like I'm more of a heavy concealer girl. Like, I use concealer almost every day. I'm gonna use a sponge, Brita Beauty Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna blend like half of my face first. Okay, this is tricky because I have my eyebrows on. Yeah, this is definitely way too orange for me. Now I'm just taking a look on my skin. It feels a little tacky but I think that's because it has hydrating properties. But I don't mind because I will set my face with setting powder. It does almost like a great job in covering my uh, redness around this area and my acne scars. And this on top of the e.l.f. Poreless Beauty Primer is actually really nice. I'm not sure if you can tell but like my pores are slightly hidden and it's more smooth. I'm just gonna blend the other side now and it's pretty easy to blend as well. You know some concealers like when you put it on you have to straight away blend because then it will dry super quickly. For this concealer I don't think it dries that fast and you can still blend. But this is just like a very thin layer of the concealer. My pores are not visible from far. I look hydrated. I don't look cakey. I look fresh. But the best part is that I don't think it oxidizes because if you guys can remember this one was actually initially a little bit brighter than before and now it has turned a little dark. I think this one did not oxidize at all. It's still the same color and so far I've not seen any other concealers that can be the dupe for the shape tape. And for the price, $11, this is a great deal. Like a great steal, seriously. So for the next item, is actually a very, very popular item. I believe this was hyped even like two or three years ago, but then it got hyped once again on TikTok uh, this year. This is the famous, the ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. I've actually used this if you guys can tell because I've never really made a review on this product on my YouTube channel so I thought um, since it's trending on TikTok and since I've never made a review why not just add this on as well 
This is actually a 10 minute exfoliating facial and it has a pH of 3.6 which is pretty pretty acidic and if you guys are beginners into acids or uh, acid peels or acid toners um, this might be a little too stinging for your face because this is a very concentrated acid and for you guys to be able to use this you need a very strong skincare routine which means you need to have your cleanser, toner, moisturizer as well as sunscreen but if you guys don't have these four things yet then I'm afraid that if you use this your face will burn because trust me this is not for the weak guys and you're putting this on your face so you need to be really really careful with this product as for me I have a pretty strong skincare routine and I actually have incorporated acids since uh, three years ago so for me this works wonders on my skin this product actually helps with acne if you are suffering from cystic acne or blackheads or even whiteheads when I use this my blackheads is super easy for me to clear out as well as my whiteheads will actually um, smoothen down and my cystic acne will not um, become more red and this helps with acne scars as well like I said I have a lot of acne scars around this area which is why I need to use this because this speed up the process of old skin cells and it will generate new cells even faster which is why it helps with your acne scars it helps with brightening and with your redness okay so let me just get rid of all this makeup wash my face and then I can put this on alright so I'm back I've washed my face cleaned my base I just left uh, my eyebrows on and a little bit of a uh, lip tint showing you guys how it looks like it has a dropper and this is how it looks like Yes, it is red and it is almost like a serum texture but you know, please do not put this on for more than 10 minutes. You have to take this off. This is actually a mask. Make sure the dropper does not touch um, your skin. It's going to spread it onto my skin. Just, oh my god, oh my god. Just a thin layer will do. Actually, you don't need a very thick layer. Oh my god, I can feel the tingling sensation. It is stinging on my skin. Oh my god. It feels almost like itchy, but you can't scratch it. And it burns. But it's a good type of burn. I'm only using on the areas where I really need it the most like my cheeks area for the uh, acne scars and redness and a little bit on my nose for the blackhead it does make you look a little crazy but that's okay for a better skin right? oh my gosh I am actually shaking because it is stinging so bad right now and I can't do anything about it okay just make sure you avoid the eye area don't forget about that okay now we wait for 10 minutes anyways if you guys are fasting I'm so happy that we're um, halfway through this and I think it's been a little bit challenging considering that we are fasting at home in terms of that like, you know not being able to pray um, uh, Taraweh at the masjid on a lighter note it's really nice to be able to spend your whole Ramadan at home with your family and you know being able to cook dishes together as a family and I can't wait to spend Eid in my hometown this year because if you guys have been watching my videos I was actually living in Malaysia for the past um, I think like five years and every time when it comes to Eid we only celebrate it like a week or two in Singapore and then we have to go back to Malaysia so it really sucks not being able to see my relatives um, that often but now that I'm here, I can see them anytime I want this entire month. And also I need to wash this off because it has been 9 minutes. Alright, be right back. Okay, so I've washed my face and if you guys can tell, my hijab got a little wet around this. But that's okay because my skin is super smooth right now. If you guys can feel it, oh my goodness. It feels super smooth and bouncy. Usually what I like to do after the peeling solution is to put like a hydrating face mask. I like my skin to absorb all the hydration it needs. So for my review on this, this is actually a very great product if you're looking into something like a exfoliator and this is a very very powerful acid exfoliator. So make sure you do 
your research before um, trying this. The after effect is really amazing. Skin feels instantly soft and supple and it just makes a very good base if you want to put on uh, makeup or for your skin to just absorb all the other skincare. Do take note you can only use this once a week and make sure it's less than 10 minutes or else your skin will burn. So these are all the items I've tried for the trending TikTok uh, beauty products and I love all these three products already. Um, do let me know in the comment section below what are the amazing products that I should try from um, TikTok suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. That's all I have for this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye!